MRI scan and CAT scan are probably the most valuable sequences we have in imaging the cervical spine. Those show us what the bony anatomy looks like as we just saw with the CAT scan. They show us the spinal cord, spinal nerves, discs, things like that that you otherwise can't really see. Both for CAT scan and MRI scans, you're lying flat on a table. So you're lying flat and you're static and you're seeing what your spine looks like in that static condition. So what do you think you miss in that? You miss how your spine reacts to normal load. So when you're standing up, leaning forward, and leaning back, you can't see any of that stuff in an MRI or a CAT scan. And that's really the role of these studies, dynamic x-rays. This is a very valuable study. It's not sufficient alone, but really gives us an important piece of information, which is how your spine reacts to load. So you can see what the alignment of the cervical spine looks like here. You can even see like their jaw, you can see the relation of all these different structures, and you can see what it looks like leaning back. So you get a sense of what the range of motion is like, which is not something that you can capture with any of the static imaging we talked about before.